Hello there, little Christmas sprites of merriment and capitalism, and welcome to the first annual Chapmas special. You see, in my davious nature, I descended down into the tavern of my discord and asked the good little boys and girls to write me the most chappiest of tales, which I would then share to the world. So, prepare to have your bells jingled and your halls decked as we attend the tale of the night before Chapmas. Twas the night before Chapmas, and during the blizzard, the whole town was stirring, especially the wizard. For a burhag, the village, her vengeance had wrought, as it seemed that for her no Chapmas presents were bought. The hag was enraged, for no one had told her the true meaning of Chapmas, not even a whisper. Why do they hate me? She snarled. I'm no fiend. Well, I am a hag, but you know what I mean. In the village below, the Chapmas bells were ringing. The adventurers gathered with merriment and singing. So you have a problem with hags? The bard, he exclaimed. Then we'll slay her for thee, the fighter proclaimed. The paladin chimed, we'll give some festive cheer. To which they all sang, this will be a most chappy year. The party then trekked to the hag's home in the mountain. It seemed a battle was coming, a tough one to be certain. Bearing the trust of the town, they readied their weapons. For they mustn't dally, the burhag, she beckons. A burr? asked the town drunk, who had followed for some reason. I thought you said beer, so I came to get drunk this season. The perilous journey lasted through the day, although maybe it would have been shorter if they had used the ranger UA. The fighter sighed as the frigid air grew colder. Where is the Lord Davy's blessing? The drunk is getting bolder. The paladin was confused, for the drunkard was godless, and making advances on the wild magic sorceress. But the sorceress responded by turning the drunk into a rabbit. Sorry, she said. It's a bit of a habit. They entered the cave, which was dark and was dreary. Luckily, the wizard brought a lamp, albeit rusty. As the cave was lit, the hag let out a hiss. Turn those lights off. I don't like it one bit. The party stepped into action, poised for a fight. Come forward, you witch. Step into the light. The barbarian cried, I've got you a gift. It's a really good one. I call it my fist. The hag gave a snarl with no hint of fear. Bah, I truly hate this time of year. Forsooth, the bard paused, if only a moment. Chapmas is the best, so please come off it. The hag replied, I care not for Chapmas. I do not. Leave me to my solitude. Tis all that I've got. Just then the wizard had a revelation. Friends, why not let the hag join in our celebration? No, they rejected, for her nose was too long. Now please, battle bard, sing us a fighting song. Just then, in a flash, the Lord Chapmas himself interrupted the party as he sat on a shelf. Friends, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Chapmas is for all, be they hags, humans, or elves. For you see, the true reward is not the XP, but the memories together that you make as a team. And then old chap vanished, as he said with a shout. Merry chap, miss to all. But yeah, Davia.